Hi, my Fired Up Picker friends. Fired Up Picker Jim Hammonds here in Richardson, Texas, coming to you with another video. And this video has a couple, a good lesson in it. Uh, number one is I want to show you something that surprised me the other day in my inbox on eBay and in my regular email. Is that uh, eBay sent me an email saying you are an eBay top rated seller. Me, who? Fired at Picker? No way. Yeah, me, Fired at Picker, top rated seller. What a surprise. Why such a surprise? Here's why. A couple reasons. I'm not killing it in the business. I'm making consistent sales, but even in the last two weeks, I've kind of fallen off because I've been focusing in some other areas. Uh, I've made some mistakes along the way. You know, some customer some customer issues that I had, some shipping issues. But here's the here's my here's the lesson for it. Is that if you always do the right thing by the customer, by the buyer, and don't get greedy and worry about a little bit of money that you're giving up or that you're losing, then you're always gonna have that integrity and your customer's going to have the confidence and eBay is going to have the confidence in you that you're doing the right thing. You're doing business the correct way. Uh, a while back, a month or two ago, I sold this little collectible cow. I'm going to move this back a little bit. I sold a little collectible cow, uh, a little puzzle cow. It was a series of different little painted cows uh, like glass. Sold it, wrapped it up. I mean, my shipping is exquisite. I mean, I had that thing wrapped in two different kinds of bubble wrap. I had that box stuffed. I mean, that thing would have had to been run over by a truck to get it to be broken, right? Or so I thought. Now, number one thing that happened to that shipment was it got lost. For some reason, instead of going from Dallas to Wisconsin, it went from Dallas to Houston. And I'm like, what the heck is that all about? So when this person should have received this priority package in two to three days... Uh, number one, I kept in constant contact with the customer, with the with the buyer, the entire process, communicating, letting them know what I knew, what I didn't know, uh, and just staying in contact, having that communication, not trying to hide and dodge and say, oh, if maybe if I don't say anything, you know, it'll it'll go away. I followed it through the entire way until the point of the morning. When I found out it had made its way to where it was supposed to be, it was going to be delivered that morning, and I let them know, and I said, let me, you know, just send me a message when you get it, and they did, but you know what? They sent me a message that says, Jim, I cannot believe that the leg is broken on this cow, and it just broke my heart. I mean, I was like, oh my goodness. Number one, it was supposed to be a gift for the girl's boyfriend, and what we had gone through to get it there and to track it there and to follow the whole thing was just uh, oh, just a letdown. But I assured him. I said, look, I don't care if you keep it, glue the leg back on or whatever. Total refund, shipping, price of object, everything. I accept a 110% responsibility. Actually, 100%. You can only give 100%. Uh, and don't worry about it. I'm so sorry. And, and I just feel terrible about what's happened. And she said, you know what? She goes, I can't believe it either. You had it wrapped in the way that it was shipped. I cannot believe it ended up broken. And, and it made me to believe that I might have pulled the bubble wrap too tight. Maybe I broke it when I wrapped it. I don't know. But uh, anyway, so that's one. Well, then here, just a, just a little over a week ago, I did a post on Fired Up Picker on Facebook with a picture. You know, I do the screenshots of sales. And it was my last Brooks Brothers men's long sleeve dress shirt that I had purchased from a garage sale. Uh, I actually purchased like six or seven of them for $3 a piece, all in like brand new, just maybe worn once if worn at all condition. Uh, and had sold all of them, made really good money on everything. And this last one, I think I accepted like $14.95 or $19.95 for the final price on the, on the best offer sale. Did my shipping sent it out. Put I always put receipts in. I don't know if y'all have seen my shipping video before uh, where I put my label on there that, you know, has to do with the feedback and we we want you to be happy, uh, all that and everything I do. Because you know what? I think out of maybe 50 purchases I made on eBay last year, maybe one or two or three people sent 
you know, in not invoices, but packing slips or receipts with the shipping. And I always do. Every single time I print out two, one for them, one for me. And I'm not a penny pincher that way. Everybody's like, oh, you're using ink, you're using paper. You know what? It's a business expense. If you're not making enough money to print out a receipt to put in your shipping, then you don't need to be in business. Uh, so anyway, the person gets the shirt. And I get a message from eBay that they're requesting requesting a refund because it's the wrong item. It was misrepresented. And I'm like, oh, my God, what's going on? Totally my bad. Uh, you know, sometimes when you get to ship, you get to uh, uh, listing items and doing the pictures and the, uh, you know, the listing and everything else. And if you're doing a lot, things can get mixed up. She's like Jim. She goes the it doesn't. This she goes the tag that shows in the picture isn't even the same tag on the inside of the shirt. She goes it's a Brooks Brothers, but she goes it's supposed to be an extra large and it's a large, which I didn't even know I had the two different sizes. I thought they were all extra larges, or maybe I had it written down that it was supposed to be a large and it was an extra large. I said, look, I accept a hundred percent responsibility. I'm so sorry for our mess up for my for my mess up, excuse me, that I'm going to refund. She goes, look, I don't think I should have to pay return shipping or anything. I said, look, no. I said, I'm going to refund your price of your, your item. I'm going to refund your shipping. Donate the shirt. Give it away to someone that can use it. I'm so sorry that this happened. I did it immediately. She, uh, she sent me back a message. She said, thank you so much. She said, I'm going to give you positive feedback. And that was the end of it. And then, a week later, I get this in from eBay. Because I don't know if you've ever had any of these things opened up on you uh, for, uh, you know, for different transactions or whatever. But eBay will, you know, follows it. They give you a time frame to take care of it. And when you jump on it and you take care of it just like that, no questions asked, boom, you give them the refund, you take care of them. That person says uh, it's taken care of. They He did what he said he would do eBay, they record all of that. I mean, they've got all of that information. And then they, they send you an email, say, thanks for handling it. Uh, you know, appreciate your the way you're doing business. So anyway, I wanted to do that video just to let you know, if you always do the right thing, good things will happen. You might give up. You know, I wasn't about to pay $6 to have that shirt shipped back to me when I had $3 in it. Then I would have had $9 in it and have to resell it again. I'm just like, hi, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, I need to get better at checking my memory on my phone before I start a uh, start a new video. Anyway, I want to put it into this, so I just wanted to let you know that uh, if you always do the right thing uh, by your customer and, you know, just take care of them and make make everything. I mean, there are, there are buyers out there. There are buyers out there that are going to... Uh, There are buyers out there that are going to try and take advantage of you from time to time, and they're out for, you know, get something for nothing. But, uh, you know, always remember this. A good rule of thumb is there's a lot more good people out there than there is bad. And if you made a mistake, if you did something wrong, uh, own up to it, man up to it, woman up to it, take care of the buyer, and uh, they'll take care of you, and eBay will take care of you. So, uh, anyway, guys, be fired up, be focused, be free. Keep listing, keep making money, you know, and enjoy what you're doing out there because 99.999% of the time, it's good. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, yeah. This is Fired Up Picker, top-rated seller, signing off. Fired Up.